Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 from Bangkok, Thailand. I've got the great pleasure of being in the studio today with Funke Opeke, who's Chief Executive Officer of Main One. Funke, thank you very much for being with us today. I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about the key challenges for broadband construction in Nigeria. Well, Nigeria does not have a mature wireline um, telephone sector, so there is not much wireline infrastructure um, in the country to facilitate the evolution of broadband services. So in order to deploy broadband, you have to lay new fiber. A lot of infrastructure building is involved. A lot of civil works coordination in big cities and rural areas um, across multiple government agencies to get it done. And then, you know, that is in an environment where there are other infrastructure challenges and infrastructure funding challenges. So you're also competing for funding um, with projects to deepen electricity access or to build roads and provide security um, to build this infrastructure. So those have been the primary challenges. Nonetheless, I think we've made tremendous progress. And how are you overcoming uh, these, these challenges in particular? I mean, you say, you say that the future looks pretty rosy, but does it depend on good policy? Um, absolutely. So the policies, liberalization that is taking place um, in the sector have been quite helpful. Um, businesses and telecoms is largely private sector driven, and so it is left to the capacity and the innovation of various companies um, to put together their business models um, to address the opportunities that exist and make the reality happen. For us, um, as an example, we started um, with what was at that time um, the most critical gap um, in the value chain for internet delivery, which was international submarine cables. And we deployed an international submarine cable into West Africa in 2010. And from there on out, we've invested in building out more of the broadband infrastructure. But by coming in through that very critical segment, which was very much in demand, we were able to make a foothold and then build um, layered services upon that. So I, I really think it's the innovation, the private sector-led initiatives, which is able to access more capital than the government is able to invest directly in broadband, given the competing demands. How, in your opinion, can the digital economy create growth and value in Nigeria? Um, Nigeria has a large youth population. Nigeria has a large population. And there is a high degree of employment. The economy was previously largely dependent on oil, and oil prices have gone down, which is having its attendant effects. And I think there's no other segment than the digital segment, where the barriers to entry for business, for service businesses based on the internet, as an example, or using connectivity, is relatively low rel um, compared to things like manufacturing or even agriculture, where you have to go source the land, cultivate the land, wait for um, season, have all this input. And so I think the digital economy has a lot to contribute to Nigeria in terms of job development and economic growth. And with the youth population, the large youth population that we have, um, it's an English-speaking country so that you can provide services, not just in Nigeria, but in many other English-speaking parts of the world. Um, it's a relatively well-educated youth population. I think there's tremendous opportunity. And what about collaboration? How important is collaboration in your work? I think collaboration is critical given where we're starting from. Um, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. And I think programs like we have here at ITU Telecom World afford us the opportunity to learn from what has happened in other countries and what models um, we can emulate um, to accelerate our development and indeed leapfrog. We want to do the latest and the greatest without going through the same pains other companies have gone through over the past um, 50 years to get to our destination. 
What for you is the greatest value of attending an event such as ITU Telecom World? What do you hope will be uh, some of the key takeaways for you? I think the takeaways already are just saying what is what are best practices in other parts of the world, um, what innovations um, those countries are focused on, um, what new policies are coming into place as technology evolves, and ensure that we're adopting those in our country as well, um, so that we're not having to we learn those uh, in a couple of years when the technology creeps upon us. Thank you, Becky. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.